Thank you for joining us as we award our nation's highest military honor to Specialist 5, James C. McLuhan. Medal received. Today, President Trump delivering the military's highest honor to war hero from West Michigan. We're live from our nation's capital with a look at the emotional ceremony. Plus, Target 8 breaking new details about how the system appears to have failed in the death investigation of a six-month-old. You'll see the new police report that shows how CPS failed to respond. And also new at 6, a big change in the banking industry. We'll show what's being tested that could lead to the end of tellers at your local branch. Good evening, everyone. I'm Justin Kolar. 24-Hour News 8 starts right now. From Wood TV, this is 24-Hour News 8. A historic afternoon at the White House, this South Haven veteran Specialist 5, James McLuhan, receiving our military's highest honor, the Medal of Honor. It also marks the first time President Trump has presented the award during his time in office. If you want to watch today's full ceremony of President Trump giving Specialist James McLuhan his Medal of Honor, just go to woodtv.com. You'll also be able to click through a photo gallery of the ceremony. The other big news coming from the White House today is the sudden departure of Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci. He's only been on the job for 10 days, but now he's out, reportedly to give new Chief of Staff John Kelly a clean slate. The state had a chance to intervene weeks before a Wyoming baby died, allegedly from his mom's intentional neglect. Target 8 is breaking new details about how the system appears to have failed six-month-old Noah Johnson. Wyoming police released this report to me today through the Freedom of Information Act. The report lays out how and why police handled baby Noah back to his mom, even though she'd left the then five-month-old alone in a car with suspected marijuana in it outside of a video store. The State Department that oversees CPS wouldn't talk specifics about this case, but did tell me if no caseworkers are available to respond while police are on the scene, CPS would follow up by visiting the child's home. And just before we got on the air, Wyoming police also responded, saying in part, quote, they followed long established child safety protocols, using the best information available to them at the time. Had the child been in immediate danger, he wouldn't have been released back to his mother. Arrested again for the fourth time this month, Christopher Lockhart is in police custody and behind bars. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department slapped Lockhart with a new felony charge for apparently taking off his alcohol tether. He was given this alcohol tether after getting arrested for drunk driving back on July 17th. As you know, he remains the only person of interest in his wife Teresa's disappearance. She hasn't been seen since May 18th. It's important to note, however, that none of these charges Christopher is facing are connected to Teresa's disappearance. Still to come tonight, a veteran powerboat competitor dies doing what he loves. You'll hear more about the life of Keith Holmes and how his friends in the powerboat community are remembering the West Michigan man tonight. But first, we'll show you the big change that's coming to the banking industry and what's being tested that could lead to the end of tellers at your local branch.